Thanks oh so much. I got better shit to do than looking for you. I'm gonna fight you! Uh huh. <laughs> I mean, it's an interesting battle ta tactic. It didn't really work out for him, but uh, good on them. Nice try. When we last left Sergeant Sunfire, we had fought our way through a deserted casino that had been repurposed by. Who the crap is that walking around behind us? Are they anti us? Yes, yes, they are. Okay. <laughs> ah. We. Ah, oh, there we go. Right. I guess we do the intro in a second. Uh, all right, so these guys have respawned. Great. But we can deal with that pretty quickly. There we go. Right. Is that all of them? Oh, shit. Nope. No, it's not. There we go. What about now? Yeah, that's all of them. All right. <laughs> well, that kind of came out of nowhere, didn't it? Well, <laughs> let's do the intro again, I guess. <laughs> can we... Can we actually turn around? No, I definitely can when we're in sneak. Anyway, last time we fought our way through a zero-g uh, casino that had been taken over by spacers, and then tracked down the elusive lair of the Mantis, which had also been taken over by spacers, and due to our ineptitude we forgot to quick save along the way and died right at the end which caused a bunch of problems and we're going to do that again today welcome back to starfield <laughs> well uh yeah so obviously a few things have gone on the enemies have respawned for one but it has been a little bit of time i've been doing a bunch of surveying again so we've actually got a bunch of levels we can put in we've got six points so not too bad and I think what we're going to do is kind of focus on some of this stuff. So Starship Design, yes, please. Uh, I don't think we can do that one. we got 30 modules. Okay, that's not too bad. Shield Systems, eh, we might as well put that in there. Target and Control. No, we haven't got that yet. Security, we could put that up again to Expert, but I don't know if I want to yet. Yeah, I'm not sure on that one. Boost pack training, energy weapon systems, engine systems, engine systems, what does that do? Top speed increased. Kind of like that. The other option is to go into like this stuff for piloting, or we have also got spacesuit engineering, done weapon engineering, outpost engineering, maybe scanning, botany, eh. None of those really jump out in zoology, nah. Uh, research methods, nah. We can do we can we can do that the old-fashioned way. That would be handy, and that does mean that we can then boost into this with. I want to get in, into outposts, so we'll put that into there for now. Five different outpost modules, cool. We can do that at some point. I'll be in between episodes, and I'll show you what's happening there, which is kind of how I want to do it for the the more boring, mundane stuff, where it's me just poking through menus so much. Right, uh, what else can we do? Ballistics? Yeah, why not? Have we got rifles anywhere? Particle beams. Rifle? There we go. Oh, we don't have any more points. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. <laughs> we've used our six points, but we've got a pistol now that is silenced. Uh, did a little bit of messing around with that, which is quite good. I don't see where these other spaces are. But I'm assuming... Th is that one? No. I, yeah, that, that's kind of through me. <laughs> now, one of the things I have noticed is we have burnt through a vast majority of our med packs purely because that last battle was just so intense. We're going to have to be played a little bit more careful in here, and I guess... A bit more sensible when it comes to my healing. Hmm. 
but yeah, I've really enjoyed the surveying stuff, but I don't really want to get points into that because if I do that, it'll be quicker for me to <laughs> quicker for me to get through the surveying, and then I'll have less time actually playing the game. <laughs> uh, things you do for content creation, right? Making my life deliberately more difficult by doing everything manually when it comes to the scanning. Oh, right, so somebody around here. Our sneak is getting much better, I have noticed. Right, where are they? There we go, another one down. There you are. Oh, where do you come from? Problem solved. So there is still another knocking about somewhere, but they are not in clear sight. Ah, med pack, I'll take it. I'm guessing they're around here somewhere. There was one down here, wasn't there, last time? Bounty hunter spacesuit. That looks like a, the. That looks like the Doom guy. Calibrated tombstone. I'm taking that too. Hang on, let's let's have a look at this. Oops. Let's have a look at the spacesuit. Oh my god, it's way better. Yeah, that is totally. That's totally. The Doom Armor, right? Eh, I guess I'm wearing it. Neat. New armor. Where are they? Gotcha. Where's the other one? Down here somewhere? They are on the mini-map. Fingers crossed these guys have... Nope, they do not have any med packs. There you are. And... Area clear. Cool. Recon skip pack, I'll take that. Two calibrated Grendels, but we don't really need those. They're not very high damage. All right, let's head back into here. Do this all again, shall we? Find the conclusion of whatever this storyline is. Some sort of superhero bullshit. Anything in here? No. Let's grab in here. Yes, yes. What have we got? Nothing. Tale of Two Cities. Oh yeah, we know that. We know that one. Uh, I actually found something which we could probably look at later this episode. Certain books unlock, like, unlock the landmarks on Earth. So we unlocked, after reading all of the twists, we unlocked the, the Shard in London. So we're going to head back to Earth at some point and check that out. I also discovered that to get different ship parts, you've got to go to different ports and build your ships in different places. So we've got a ship that we're starting to build. It's very basic at the moment, because it's very expensive as a C-Class. And I'm hoping that in between episodes I can do a bit of, you know, just random stuff, questing and all that kind of razzmatazz. Where is Vasco, by the way? He's supposed to be with me, but he's not. Ah, the gold mine. Interesting. Don't know what that is. We've got You're doing well, that Leon. there. Almost there. Oh, I know. Things have been difficult. The mantle of the mantis is a heavy burden. Nice. Do, do we want the gun? I'll take the gun. Good. So yeah, we need to travel to a bunch of Jesus, a bunch of the different spaceports. Oh my God, they're all coming up here. There we go. Yeah. 
So what do you have? Leon Volklang Sympaternus. So I met with a lawyer and was prepared to party. Oh yeah, yeah, we, were, we had this last time. The Brett, will what was graphic was him out on those. Emotional. Mom and I stopped talking years ago. Mom didn't look good, but it was Mom. As weird, and crazy, and cryptic as ever. I'm almost surprised she remembered she even had a son. It was hard to hear. Almost touching. Okay, Mom. All right, yeah. Punchline. No inheritance until I go to Mom's secret base on Denabolo 1B. And she ends not with an I love you or an I'm proud of you. No. Six Semper Tyrannus. Oh, my God. Always with that stupid Latin saying. Over and over she'd say that damn thing. Thanks, Mom. Thanks oh so much. I got better shit to do than looking for you. I'm gonna fight! Uh-huh. Ah! Uh <laughs> I mean, it's an interesting battle ta tactic. It didn't really work out for them, but uh, good on them. Nice try. What do we got here? Grenades, sure. Yeah, can't unlock that, that's fine. Anything else in here? No. Okie dokie. Right. So yeah, we've got a new ship in the, in the works, uh, C-Class, currently called the Scuttlefish, which I quite like the, the name. I quite like that. It's a nice idea. Um, not entirely sure what I want it to look like yet, so I want to hop around the different star systems and find the different ship building providers. Uh, apparently some of the shipyards do special ones as well, and just kind of see what we've got on offer and what we can build. But that requires a lot of cash. I do not have a lot of cash at the moment. In fact, I've spent most of it on... What, was, what did I spend it on? Miscellaneous kind of building materials to build gun parts, I think. How much cash have I got? Yeah, nine, nine grand. Nine thousand credits is nothing in this game. Right, that guy's gone. There was a guy there last time, wasn't there? We got a med pack from them. But not today. That happened just like before, though. There we go, we're hidden again. Nice. Electronic clamp. I did realise we've lost our cutter somewhere, which isn't great. Don't want the drum beat. We're good there. Med packs are handy, though. I don't know what a squall is, but I'll take it. Ah, yes, we remember this bit. This bit was kind of hairy. There's a bunch around the corner here. Yeah, I thought there was one there. Bit of damage on that one. Okay, those two are down. Any more that I can see around here? No, I think we're good. So maybe we might get a med pack out of this, hopefully. Let's do a quick save. I'm, I'm determined not to make the same mistakes I made last time. This time around, we will be discovering the secret of this little we secret base. Now. I them uh. Nice. Leon's corpse. So we've got a few here to, to listen to. Let's uh, actually do that. Boom pop reactor, I'll take it. Modified lawgiver? Sure, why not? Orion? Cool. We've got... Digipick? I'll take it. I mean, I could probably take a bit more, couldn't I? But uh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to. There's that bit down there, and there's this bit down here. Let's go down this way, I guess. 
What is my carry weight currently? Eh, well maybe we'll grab it on the way back up, right? No point doing too much now. And you know what we should do? Let's actually use one of our trauma packs, or whatever they're called. Because they do a decent amount of healing, right? Yeah, that's, that's, that's agreeable. I will take that. I think down here there was a really, really tough guy, wasn't there? Nice. Yeah, it was just around this corner. So keep an eye on this bit here. We've got someone coming up here. Oh, right, okay. You can see me through the gap, apparently. Seem to be struggling too much here at the moment, which is nice. Oh, level 30, Spacer Scum. You were the guy that caused me so much trouble last time. Nice. <laughs> Don't know what he's got stuck in, but he's stuck. <laughs> okay, we'll take that. Let's have a bit of a squiz around. What do we got? Ship repair, fundamentals. Ah, med pack. Take it. Nothing around here. New. No. Okay. So I think there's just one or two more people to kill in this area. And we did actually... Yeah, that's a good point. We had those slates we wanted to listen to. So, uh, Leon's corpse and the gold mine. Let's listen to the gold mine first. This lure is a gold mine. The Mentis was loaded with the salvage top notch. And the good stuff's going to be further in. The payout's going to be extreme. Just going to survive until then. Traps took out Dava and Jiang. Uh, Livy volunteered a couple of others from Iron Dave's crew. Poor bastards. Just gonna stay off Livy's radar. Leon's corpse. Found Leon's body. Looked like one of the damn traps got him too. <clears throat> Big fight of his body until Iron Dave broke it up. Managed to grab his cred stick though, so bonus. Gotta wonder if the Mantis' own son got mixed. It got nixed. How can we do any better? <clears throat> wow, my voice is going all of a sudden. Sorry about that. We're back into that time of year where there's a lot of bugs going around. <clears throat> and as much as I've not got sick, I do feel like I'm losing my voice a lot at the moment. So possibly there is some kind of random stuff going around. All right, squall, take, med pack, take. Anything else? Reconstitute or reconstitute? Yep, take that. Nothing in here. Did we actually kill this one as well? No, there's somebody else about, but they're not, not where we can see them. <laughs> I'll never get tired of that. Mantis revealed. This is where we died. One more down. This might be a little trickier with a, without uh, Vasco this time around. We'll try. Okay, that's not bad. Random stuff going on there. Oh shit. Okay, done. I think that room's almost clear. Trauma pack I'll take. What else we got? Anything? Okay, there's a guy down there. Don't know where they are, so I'll have to keep an eye out for that. Eh, take another Orion, why not? Yep, take that. Shotgun, sure. Frag grenade, sure. Space helmet, sure. Ok, 
Okay, so they're all the way back there. I wonder if we can possibly flank them. Pop your head up, go on. I dare you. Cool. Another one down. And we didn't lose much health, which I'm very grateful for. Oh shit, there's one over there, is there? Okay, down here. Good. Nice. Let's see if we can make a bit more progress. Drumbeat, sure, we'll take it. A bit of loot down here as well to get. There we go. Oh, hello. I never liked him anyway. This isn't happening. We'll have to actually go down again and oh, talk to Livy. Learn more about the Lair of the Mantis. Okay, we could potentially talk to somebody, can we? They're not aggro. I don't know why, though. Is it because they've decided that they need my help? In which case, possibly good? Let's have a bit of a squiz around that bit that we didn't, didn't actually look at. I did see a pharmaceutical box and a med pack box. So that could be very useful for us. Two med pack boxes, actually. Trauma pack, I'll take it. Trauma pack, I'll take it. So the normal med pack's getting replaced now. I think we might be at a level where they are. That's not bad. Ah, yes, there's that room too, isn't there? And that spits us out on this side. Ah, so you can go both ways. Okay. I dig that. A lot of blood. A lot of blood. Who are you again? I'm guessing you're Livy? Wait, wait, don't shoot! I am unarmed. Look, we can help each other. I can be useful. Just don't kill me. Oh, Jesus. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I don't want to die of that. I'll come back to you, Livy. There we go. Okay, now we can probably relax, right? Anything we can grab here? No, oh, folder. I don't need that. Let's go talk to this dude. He seems pretty chill. Wait, wait, don't shoot! I am unarmed. Look, we can help each other. I can be useful. Just don't kill me. Spaces aren't usually the surrendering type. It's because I'm smart. You've killed so many. I am nothing. No chance. So we can make a deal? This place was full of traps. Traps everywhere. I removed them. But this... This corridor is just too dangerous. See? Looks normal. One step inside, slam! You are trapped, and nobody's been standing after the doors reopen. Interesting. It looks like this place really tore you apart. It's true. So many of my crewmates are gone. I kind of feel bad for him. This corridor is the worst. But I figured it out. There are letters on the floor. It is a grid. Those letters must spell something. Is it Mantis? So many words or small phrases. Oh, it'll be the Latin one, right? Semper Ternaris or whatever. How many words have you tried? Five, six. It's hard to find uh, volunteers. I really thought we had it with M Mantis. <laughs> oh, poor Fred. Okay, so you're smarter than you look. Why does everyone always say that? It's not really a compliment, it's a very backhanded. You you could let me go. Why don't you join me? I can help. 
I know these traps. I know how this mantis thinks. Please let me help. And just give me a taste of the cachet inside. You can trust me. Um. Betray, betray me and you die. Spoken like a true spacer. You won't regret this. I will hold back I, here. I, I've just got a feeling and, well, that we can add him to the crew at some point, right? Optional. Learn more about the Lair of the Mantis. What have we not read? Is there some other slate we've not picked up here? We've read all those. Oh, there we go. Mantis revealed. I'm here, and I'm hot, and I'm tired. So thanks, Mom. Best gift ever. The stupid code worked, and the door scanned my biometric. Surprise! It's me. Then I heard Mom. I nearly had a heart attack. She's at her lair. Yeah, lair. What a freak. It's meant for the worthy. So all I have to do is take some tests. I just want to get this over with. Yeah, well, I mean, he did. He died, but he did get it over with. Right, so we go in here and it slams shut, right? So, save. bunch of spray paint here. Can we just jump over it? T Y R A N N U S maybe? I just I I've got a feeling I'm not entirely sure. Notes it is Six Emperor Tyrannus a Tyrannus T Y R A N N I S Is that a V or a Y? H A E This one? Tire N Is Oh Jesus! <laughs> what did I do wrong there? I thought that was maybe that's not the right letter. Maybe I read that wrong. Let's try that again. Now it seems fairly obvious that it's probably Tyrannus, right? T. Y. R. Inventory. Uh, I just want to look. T Y R A double N I S. Uh, okay. A. Is that an N? It looks like an N, but I don't know. Is it? N. N. I. S. Boom. How do we... Yeah, there we go. Do need your help after all. Do we betray him then? You did it. It's amazing. Now, you must be careful. There will be traps, robots, probably turrets. Very dangerous. Mm-hmm. Well, that's all right. We can, we can deal with that. I do think having the expert lock picking is probably our next bet because we are missing out on a bunch of loot every time we go somewhere. And shoot. Done. We're detected by something, but obviously not something hostile. Oh, we're over encumbered now, are we? Shit. Um. Eh. Can I drop a gun or something for you? Are you gonna take it if I do? What weighs the most? Four. 
Oh, jeez, that's... Oh, oh, no wonder. Dang. Oh, it's worth a lot of money, though. Jesus, it's worth a lot of money. What else can we drop, then? Let's drop the... Drum beats. Yeah. Cool. We might be able to come back and grab that at some point on the way out. Don't mind if you're over encumbered on the way out. Actually, thank you to Demone for pointing out that you can actually be over encumbered. It doesn't kill you. You go down to 10% health. So if you are somewhere safe, it's actually a really good strategy for, you know, collecting stuff. The only downside is if you're recording, absolutely terrible. Very hard to watch on a, on a screen like like that when it's all fading in and out and going red and stuff. It doesn't look nice visually, so we probably won't do that on camera, but I will be using it off camera to make sure we've got a whole bunch of stuff in our inventory. Oh, actually that reminds me as well. A big, big thank you to everybody. Uh, we've actually made the YouTube Partner Program now, so thank you very much. You may be seeing adverts at the start of videos, you may be seeing uh, a little you know how YouTube pushes memberships. It's it's kind of cool. I, I found out you don't have to have like a five ninety nine membership. I can set it as cheap as I want. So I set it at one New Zealand dollar for a membership per month. And I think that's like 50 US cents or near enough. It's not much. It's not much a month because I want my content to be free. There's no real bonus apart from your, your name will be in the, the little ticker underneath the videos. Um, yeah, if people want to join, you're welcome to support the channel. I very much appreciate it, but don't feel you need to. All my stuff's going to be free uh, for as long as possible. Well, <laughs> as long as possible. Forever, basically. I'm not actually going to be charging... Oh. I am, I am opening fire. I'm, I, how did that guy just run right past it? I didn't give a shit about him. Unable there we go. Repair not possible. But... Uh, what I will say is, yeah, I, I'm, I'd love for this to basically supplement my income. Uh, being disabled, it's it's kind of difficult to be working full time. But yeah, I'm not going to push it. I'm not going to push the promotion of, of like the memberships and stuff like that. If people want it, they can have it. If they don't want it, it's all good. Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! Oh God! Oh my god, that hits so hard. I suppose it is a robot, that makes sense. <laughs> right? uh, I was not expecting them to, to actually launch themselves at me. That is not something I've seen before. I've always took these on a, at a, a much bigger distance. Right, so we've got one at the end of this tunnel, right? Oh, hang on. I am sorry I could never show this lair to you. The lair is a secret that's been passed down for over a hundred years. Oh. And there are rules. You remember when you were a teenager? All the training, the drills, all of it was to prepare you for this. Jesus. That was not a good idea. Okay, one more down, Failure. and one more robot to go. Save there, pop around the corner, bang, 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 bang. Okay, that's no good. Critical hit, bang, done. All right, progress. Stuff. We probably need to put some stuff down, actually. Stop picking up so much garbage. Alright. You got anything to say? No, just chilling. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Lure the Mantis, we're here. So what is this? It is definitely superhero <laughs> shit. Oh. Well, that worked out very well for him. I guess we can't take him with us. 
idiot. <laughs> uh. Right, what do we got in here? Let's have a look around, shall we? Okay, so we go that way. There is some stuff here, which is... Eh, nothing we can really use. So I don't need to worry about that. What is this? Is this just like an elevator to the surface? Four zero. Let's have a look. What is... What, 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 what? Oh, here we go. Opening door. Ah, oh, okay. Right, yeah, we did wonder about that uh, last episode, didn't we? We were like, well, how do we get through that one? Okay, so that seems fairly self-explanatory, but what is the point of this? Do we get, like, cool... Is that a spaceship? Do we get a spaceship? Are you good or bad? Apparently we do. Best mother. In these final days. I wish. They don't like me. Be a better mantis. Be a better person than I was. So there's a lot of robots down here. We are on obviously very hard mode, so there's a certain oh Jesus, a certain difficulty curve on this. I do think we could potentially take them on. I wonder if we can put on some chems now. Let's get some. Let's do a trauma pack. We've got. I guess that. What's this do? Less noise. We've got. What's that do? More damage, more movement speed. We'll take one of those. Uh, we've got. Infantry Alpha, more range damage and weapon accuracy, sure. And damage resistance, sure. So we are ready to go. Okay, we're good there. We've got that guy up there. Let's take them down next. This does help quite a bit, actually. We are running out of med packs pretty quick. Another one down. A quick save. Okay, I think they're the last one, too. All right, that seems to be everybody. Everyone so far, I can't see anyone else. So, Mantis spacesuit and Mantis starship. Interesting, all right. I'm digging that, what do we got here? Uh, can we take it? We'll try taking all this stuff. We, we, I mean, we've got a ship there that we can take, right? So, surely that's gonna probably help us? So that's where the, I'm guessing the, the suit is, right? How good is it though? Is it better than what we've got? Because if it's not, then why would I take it? Interesting. Is that one locked? Can we, no, oh, it doesn't open. All right.
So do we get to keep this as a base, or do spaces always come back? Um, eh, we can always come back at some point and have a look, right? Oh, hello. I do wonder, if they're a solo superhero, why do they need so many lockers everywhere? Like, sure, you wouldn't have that much stuff. Credits I'll take. Oh yeah, we are over-encumbered, of course. That's... kind of cool. Oh... Oh, they're all really good. That's not so good. But I can do without that. That's cool. Galvanized, resistant to corrosive, that's good. More accuracy while firing on the move, good. That's not bad. It's not, it's, I don't know if I'd wear that. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of it, to be honest. Don't like the way it looks. But the pack, I do like that. So less ra more radiation resistance, sets stuff on fire, anti-ballistic. That's, that is good. All right, we'll, we'll keep those. Nice. Uh, what else we got in here? Credits. Ooh, here we go. Good loot time. Uh. Take that. Take all those. Yeah, we're going to be like massively over encumbered, but you know what? I don't care. It's all good. Anything here? No. Eh. Yeah. Just a quick squeeze with this. Got a hamburger down here? Sure, I'll take that. Nah. Oh. I won't say no to a digi pick, it's free. Why not? So this is the bedroom. We've got a Oh, okay. Little bathroom shower area. It's one of the few places that does have a shower, right? Like, we don't see them very often. So I guess we just take the spaceship now. Let's have a quick squiz around here, make sure there's nothing that we've missed. Yeah, these are all good. Uh, I heard a siren then. Do we need to be worried about potential stuff? No? Guess not. Okay, cool. This is all good. Nothing else around here that we can see. It is very much like a bat cave, isn't it? I don't know. There's, there's something very satisfying about an underground lair. What are you? Security mark. Corrupt entries. Unrecoverable. Explosions detected. A scorched earth mainframe failing. Ah, oh, security offline, please terminate. Okay. Ah, deleted logs. So the scorched earth has deleted everything on the computer. Kind of. Uh, yeah, okay, that makes sense. I can dig that. Credits, I'll take it. We've got tools. Is the water swimmable? Yeah, it is. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. It's radioactive. <laughs> okay. <laughs> not a great idea. Uh, maybe that's how she got her powers. So what have we got here? Starship lift controls. Activate Mantis ship. Can we get up there? Oh, we can't get up there. How do we get up there? Guess the elevator back? Yeah, alright. Wow. Very, very cool. Oh, check these two. I'll take the 
battle meals, they're pretty good for carry weight stuff, aren't they? Sealant? Sure, why not? I imagine the Mantis ship has not got a huge crew available, so we might have to adapt it if we want our crew, right? Right, what do we got? Yep, there's our loop around. Great, let's get out of here. It seems like we've got ourselves a new ship and some fancy new armor, which I'm going to kind of see if I want to wear or not. I'm not entirely sold on the the Manta stuff, honestly. It's, uh, it, it, I don't know, the, the spacesuit itself doesn't speak to me. Which sounds stupid, I know, but I kind of like having an aesthetic that I enjoy. Ooh, that's way bigger than I thought. Okay, so maybe it's not a one-person craft. I like the color scheme, though. White and yellow. Let's check this out, shall we? Mission updated. Deputized. Oh, okay, because it's our next mission on our list, right? We, we've not actually done anything for it. The Razor Leaf. Okay. Random shit. So this is the crew quarters, I'm guessing? Tables, desk, ah, oh, captain's cabin. Right, because obviously one person ship, right? Nothing else there, there's no... Oh, there is an upstairs. Let's check out the upstairs before we go to the cockpit, right? Yeah, here we go. Oh, it's an armory, so these will have nothing in them, will they? No. Yeah, we can put a bunch of weapons and stuff on here, which is good. Calibrated breach. Interesting. I don't think I've seen that gun before. It's worth quite a bit of money. Let's take it. Pacifier. Yeah, take those two. We put our own weapons on there, right? We don't need the other stuff. That's everything? Yeah? Yeah. Oh, that's got stuff. Urban Eagle. Interesting. Brown leather jumpsuit. Helmet display. And a refined rattler. Interesting. Okay. Backpack. Oh, here we go. Refined Demos pack. See, that's pretty good. It's better than the one we've got. I wonder if it's better than the Mantis stuff. Probably not, right? That Mantis stuff was pretty ridiculous. Okay, let's go check out the cockpit, see what's in the computer and stuff. Nothing in the captain's locker. And... Silver and Iridium. Cool, cool, cool. Yes, it is a one-person craft. So, sucks to be Vasco. He gets ditched on another planet again. I wonder how fast it is. It's not great. I picked up something you might be interested in. Looks kind of cool, though. I wonder if we want to modify one of these to be a C class. Mm, looks peaceful from up here, doesn't it? It's very maneuverable, I'll give it that. Hailing unknown vessel. Colonists here in distress. We could really use your help. Please respond. Please. I have a feeling your space is... Oh, thank you for responding. We had someone jump in and leave without even saying hi. We're with, uh, List, and we're just trying to get to our new home. But our grab drive is old. Like, really old. And I'm afraid it's giving up the ghost. Uh, sounds like you're in a tough spot. We have kids listening, so uh, let's just say affirmative. Very much affirmative. We have a workbench here, but we need just common old iron. A Ooh. lot of it. 
then we should be able to jury rig some repairs. I, no, I don't think I've got much. We'll pay loads more than the iron's actually worth. I don't think I've got any. I don't have 20 iron for you, I'm sorry. What exactly is wrong with your grab drive? The whole unit is like a brick now. Can I use ship parts on it? The diagnostic log only says it's offline. Well, what we can read. I think some of the warnings are in Cyrillic. You know those old Russian letters? Uh, I don't have 20 iron for you. If you can find or buy some iron, it's not like we're going anywhere. Okay. Thank you. All right, yeah, we could we could do that. We're superheroes now, right? <laughs> let's let's head back to I guess Alpha Centauri, and we'll register the ship and we'll leave it there. Maybe we'll go back to oh jeez, we can't go that way. So why have we got to go that way? I wonder. With the why why have we got to go that way? This, this seems like a really roundabout way. Oh, okay. This is a bit of a problem. These are on level 30. What can we do if it's closer? Oh, there's Ursa Majoris and Ursa Minoris. Let's jump there, then jump to the next place, then jump back, I guess. We'll, we'll end the episode when we actually get back to Alpha Centauri. Or a occupied world where we can actually swap our shift, right? Swap our ship out and uh, sell some stuff. Nice work. Okay, we've got that one. Let's get out of there. We want to quickly get to the next system if we can. Oh my god, what is with this ship? Can we actually just... Aquila City. Can we just land there? Oh, we can. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, let's go to Aquila City. We'll, we'll play around with the shipbuilding stuff, I guess, here at some point. And we probably want to talk to a few more people around town, right? Especially sell off some stuff. All right, well, I guess this is where we'll leave it this episode. We've got a fancy new ship. We've got some fancy new armor, and yeah, a lot of stuff to do. So I guess in between episodes, I'm going to go sell off some stuff, get ourselves back under under our max encumbrance, and I don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll play around a little bit. We'll see what we can do. So next episode, I think what we will do is we'll head to London and check out the Shard and see if we can find some iron to take back to those lost colonists. Yeah? Yeah. Alrighty. I hope you've enjoyed the episode, and I shall see you next time. Bye for now.